Good morning, Manchester United fans all over the world. This is Mick Ruby from MUFC Realist TV. And boy, it's Sunday today. It's been a couple of hours since we smashed Reading with a beautiful performance with 3-1. And boy, I was exiled on the balcony to celebrate because where I was sitting, my wife was sleeping. And raise your hand if you've been in that situation before uh, where your man cave has been compromised. But look... Uh, in overall, in general, I woke up a little bit heartbroken. I was taking a sip of my coffee, browsing over the news, looking at the overall, um, you know, what, what's what you know, what's been said after the game. But you know, one thing that broke my heart was pretty much the injury scare with Christian Eriksen. Okay, but first and foremost, Eriksen has been a, such a instrumental part together with class. The ball caused by Andy Carroll was absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. And there was no card shown for it. This is your typical classical old style defender. Now go for the ball, just going to break the leg, right? And here in this instance, if we can see here on this one as well. Right, you can see how he's actually just diving in. Oh, that is so bad. That is absolutely shocking. And what is refereeing doing? Just ball watching, not even going. What is VAR doing? Not even doing nothing, right? Oh. But anyway, it's just such a disgrace to see because that, that leaves us very short. Um, injury came out to say that, you know, Christian Eriksen might be sidelined for a couple of weeks with an ankle injury, which is... <sighs> very hard for us United fans because our midfield is always thin as it is you know um, Eriksen Haag has actually confirmed that Christian Eriksen suffered an ankle injury you know in the Manchester United FA Cup win over uh, Reading you know this injury to Eriksen I, I'm really really gutted like and if it's an ankle injury you know it, it's a rough rough night that means he might be out for about six weeks who knows who knows but you know what? Um, Christian Eriksen has been instrumental to the team. And, you know, after that chop, yeah, he was actually spotted um, after the game walking out in crutches, as, as we can see. So that, for me, is not a good sign. It's not a good sign at all, people. What are we going to do without Christian Eriksen? What are we going to do, um, especially when we are a little bit thin in the midfield? That means that you know, January transfer window is closing on Tuesday. Um, that means that this forces the board's hand to actually do something about the situation. We don't know yet because we're waiting for the full update how long Christian Eriksen is going to be out. But if it's an ankle injury, if if it's he's jumping out on crotches, uh, we will find out. But since the January window is closing on Tuesday, the board has to do something very very fast. We have Donny. Van der Beek out. We have Christian Eriksen out with a blow. It leaves us very thin. You know, um, we need a midfielder. We need a midfielder of his elk as well. Bruno cannot play, you know, three games per week. Casemiro cannot also play three games per week. Our youth, Kobe that came in, is not ready yet. You know, Scott McTominay, it's just a drop off, right? Fred can do the job, but still that leaves us very, very thin. Um, I don't know what you think. When you see pictures uh, such as these, this gives you a little bit of a fright. We love Christian Eriksen. We know what Christian Eriksen has meant to us everything ever since he came to us in the summer. But to see him walking out in crutches is absolutely heartbreaking and disturbing scenes. You know, we just we can only pray that the updates that we are about to receive and the scans that's coming out is showing like minimal damages to his ankle. But these ankle injuries take time. We've seen Diego Dalois also out for an ankle injury. We're looking at minimum five to six weeks, you know, as ankles are very, very hard to heal. But the fact that Andy Carroll was sent out in the, 
you know, bull run attack that he did against uh, Casemiro, that was just mental, right? You're not playing for the ball. You're just going out to hurt the player. So it was fair and justice that Andy Carroll got his red card and sent out, according to my opinion. Um, in a way, like, you know, moving on from here, we have to look at the overall January transfer window that's shutting on, on Tuesday. This has to be putting pressure on the Glazers and the board to actually support Eric Ten Hag. We are very thin up there, like in, in the midfield. Casemiro needs a rest. Scott McTominay is, according to my opinion, not good enough. He's a bench player. Um, Kobe Maino that came in is too young. And barring that we also have Donny van der Beek out injured for long-term injury, it is a little bit worried. So back to you, Bob, back to you, board, do something, help Eric Ten Hag to get his signing. Let me know what you think in the comments below who we, who we should go for, if it's a potential loan deal. There has to be somebody out there that could do the job for the next couple of months, you know, barring that. Either way, if, either way, like, you know, injury, not injury, he needs help. You know, he needs help. He needs an extra midfield in. Um, anyway, if we look at the uh, the Brazilian galore, um, it was just amazing to see that we, you know, the three Brazilians that was involved, like, you know, two, three goals were scored by two Brazilians. We're talking about Casemiro, we're talking about Fred as well, with this beautiful flick. But the man of the hour, the man of the match was Anthony. He was amazing. You know, it was probably one of the best games I've seen Anthony play. I mean, the matter of fact of his through ball, uh, the pass uh, that went to Casemiro, and Casemiro chipped it over the goalie. Very beautiful. It was amazing pass. That shows you that he's a very versatile player. Like, and he can not only just play on the right wing, but we know that he likes to cut inside. And I started to wonder, like, you know, um, Anthony in the middle as a number 10. Hmm. That could work very well because he's got a good pass. He's got a good left foot. We know he can shoot from long ranges as well. So, yeah, I mean, kudos for, for all the salty haters like the rivals that we overpaid for Anthony. But I think that Anthony is starting to show his form and the fact that he was given the man of the match yesterday was well worth it. Otherwise, I would also give it to the man of the match, El Clasimiro. El Clasimiro, two goals at Old Trafford. Wow. And what a goal it was as well. Um, ah, but uh, anyway, uh, the, the positive note... Uh, you know, overall, the man of the match, we already mentioned Anthony. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say it anymore. Um, we are through to the, you know, fifth round in the FA Cup. I believe that draw is going to be made on Monday uh, for some reason. They, you know, or is it today? I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, we are through in another cup. We are looking at staring at the battle for going for the Carabao uh, final in Wembley. Um, the week we're going to play the return game on Old Trafford this week. We have a nice cushion. Um, but in a way, it is good because we are in three cups. You know, we're talking about FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and also the start of Barcelona in Europa League. We're not playing um, this Champions League until we play Crystal Palace um, first week of Feb. But boy, do we need uh, transfers? Do we need to go positive into the transfer window before it shuts? Get a midfielder in for crying out. John Moto, if you listen to this, please. Please, please, please forget about the Glazers. Forget about the debt. Just get us a midfielder. McRuby, MUC Realist TV. Like and subscribe or don't. Leave your comments below who your man of the match is. And, you know, see you later. Bye for now. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you for watching MUC Realist TV and this episode. They said if you really like what you're seeing, please continue watching other content that we provide because it's a unique content providing by a fan for the fan, allowing you to be real red for real with real opinions because at the end of the day, we are MUFC Realist TV. Cheers! <laughs>